Yemi's online quiz. Week 5. A data 231. This is my part 1. The point that divides the line segment joining the points minus 1 comma 2 and 3 comma minus 5 in the ratio 1 is to 2 internally then it lies in the which quadrant four quadrant options is given here then formula is px comma y equal to mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n we remember that by invoking that small adjustment for m there are two spaces then m is multiplied with x2 then n is only one space that is multiplied with x1 similar to the x, y1 and y2 mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n my2 plus ny1 divided by m plus n all those things in the above formula we get that 1 into 3 into 2 into minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 that is nothing but 3 and then 1 into minus 5 plus 2 into 2 divided by 3 is equal to 1 by 3 and then minus 1 by 3 this is first x axis is plus and then y axis is minus that is only in the fourth quadrant so answer is the fourth quadrant so d is the answer it's a very very uh, easy question but it's a tricky question uh, we have to know that first quadrant is plus plus second quadrant is minus plus and the third quadrant is minus minus fourth quadrant is plus and minus so fourth quadrant is the answer then I have proceed to the next question. Second question is the distance between the point P A comma 4 and Q 4 comma 0 is 5. Then the value of A is. Here distance is given. Then we have to find out what is the x coordinate of P. The distance between the two points A x1 y1 and B x2 y2 is Distance equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. D equal to square root of 4 minus a whole square plus 0 minus 4 whole square equal to 5. That's the thing is the distance is given. Then this is written as square root is taken out. And then we have to, to do the square on both the sides. Then square root is taken out. 4 minus a whole square plus 16 e equal to 5 square. This implies that 4 minus a whole square equal to 5 square is nothing but 25. 25 minus 16 equal to 9. This 4 minus whole square is equal to 3 square. Then square is taken out on both sides. Then so 4 minus a equal to 3. This implies that minus a equal to 3 minus 4 on the right hand side. This is 3 minus 4 is nothing but is equal to minus 1. So minus a equal to minus 1. So it can be written as a equal to 1. So b is the answer. Yeah, b is the correct answer. Then the distance is given here 5. Then the value of x axis on P is 1. Then the next question is In the constructions, the scale factor is used to, to construct dash triangle. Four options is given. It's a very, very easy question. Uh, for similar triangles, we have to use to, to construct using the scale factor because angles are equal and the sides are in the ratio. The ratio means we have to invoke that factors. That's why we are using the scale factor to construct the similar triangle. So C is the answer. It's a very, very easy cuisine and as well as a simple cuisine. So, uh, students uh, don't care about this kind of cuisines when they know the definition of the similar triangle. 
And then similar triangle, you have to know the definition for the similar triangle. Uh, there is nothing but sides are in the ratio. Next question is for the given set of numbers in which the mean, median, mode all have the same values. Here four options are given. For the first, I am trying with the A, A option. What is that A option is 3, 3, 3, 4. Then mean, I am finding that mean 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 divided by 4 equal to 13 by 4 that is giving the fraction. That's why I am trying with the B option. Mean summation xi by n equal to 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 5 divided by 5 is equal to 15 by 5 is nothing but 3. So mean is here 3. Then I am going to find out what is median. Median is nothing but the mid value. I have to arrange the numbers in the ascending order and then find the third number which is happened to be a 3. So median is 3. The next thing is I have to find out mode. How many times this 3 is repeated? This 3 is repeated 3 times. That's the maximum number in this given option. So 3. Mode is 3. Mean is 3. Median is 3. So all those things point to the 3. So here 3 is the answer. So B is the answer that is only available with the correct options other options they, they are not at all having that mean median mode are all one and the same a researcher recorded the time taken by the 13 monkeys to locate their food as given below it's a very very interesting sum it's as well as it's a very creative sum. No? Here, monkey, 13 monkeys, they wanted to search for food. And then they tried to locate now, where is the food availability. For that, they want to take they want to take the time. In this time is given in terms of seconds. Then we have to find out the, what is the median time. For the 13 monkeys. First, arranging the data in the ascending order. So 29, 30, 32, 35, 37, 40, 45, 45, 54, 57, 62, 76, 80. Next step is just to find out the min number among 30. Min number is 7. From that first to seventh number is 45. So 45 is the correct answer. We have the number is happened to be a 45. So median time is 45 seconds. It's very, very quite interesting as well as, uh, well, it's a very, very creative question. Uh, here, option A is the answer.